Hey guys, welcome back to Rail Chief's Back Shop, and I know I promised you all this video series for quite a while now, but in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you all a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I repaired this Lionel Post War 3472 milk car to its in original form. Now before we continue on, I just want to mention a couple of things. The shell that you see currently on the chassis here is the later milk car shell which is also numbered 3472 and yes it is an original Lionel boxcar shell and also the car currently also does not have the operating mechanism nor does it have the milkman and I will be looking for those components at some point down the road but as for the other shell that this car came with there really wasn't that much that I can do with it whatsoever other than to clean the doors off but the one thing that was really problematic was this big gash in the plastic that was broken off. And I kind of understand why the original owner wanted to paint over this. So that way the gash wasn't too noticeable. But thankfully I was able to pick up an, a, another original milk car shell for only a dollar at York this year. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I managed to put this thing back together. So... Again, without further ado, let's sit back and relax, and I hope you guys will enjoy the show. Now, when I opened the car to take a better look at the frame, the paint was kind of far from gone. So I went ahead and resprayed everything silver, and then once the silver was dried, I sprayed over again with the flat black to finish everything off. I also taped the underside of the chassis as well, because there were some markings underneath there that I didn't want to touch up. But overall, I think everything came out pretty good if I do say so myself. And once everything was repainted on the frame, it was only just a matter of time to put the car back together. And like I mentioned earlier, I think the frame came out pretty good. And it's probably the best paint job that I've done in a very long time. Okay, now I know this may have been a little bit of a short video today, but I can reassure you guys that there's plenty more to come. I still need to install the doors on the outside of the car, but that probably won't happen until part two. So make sure to keep an eye out for the next video that I'll be working on. But as always, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, don't forget to hit the notification bell down below for any other project that I upload. But until next time, thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in part two.